Aaron here, Abel Aiden here with another video. It's kind of dark where I am, yeah. But I'm in the middle of nowhere. i am been contracted to build a stairs on a long abandoned house. It's in a farm. Let me let me flip my camera around here. Uh, it's in a, a farmland area. It's been abandoned for a number of years now. And um, I've been asked to put a stairs right in that area right there. Um, and some other work as well. But um, the first thing has to be done is the stairs. There's a cow over there under that tree. It's a huge farming area. Um, but this part here has been abandoned for a while now. So this is the house. I'm gonna do something unusual. I built I built everything here because I have to use my power tools, my um my cordless tools, and uh I want to be able to minimize using that here because it's a little way away from electricity. So that's where I'm gonna put the stairs. Right there. I'm gonna plant these two posts, get a couple of holes in the ground, dig two holes. Uh if you notice I bevel the top. Well, I cut a little slot at the top of the pole, which this is going to rest on the frame. That's going to act as the little landing area, which is be, going to be right underneath the door right there. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't hold my phone and record at the same time. So I'm going to have to take still photos. Yeah, that's what I like to do. There's my baby parked over there. And it's just myself and the bush. There's a, an old farming, chicken farm uh, thing there and another abandoned house beside it. But this is what it is. So I'm gonna try and do this within an hour or so. Um, just to dig two holes, somewhere in about that area. Plant those two poles and put up the landing and my, my day is done for today. And uh, afterwards I'll be able to, to get that done. So I'm gonna get going with that right now. So I got the landing partially up just kind of roughed in I had to use because of the distance because of where I am I had to use a piece of bamboo just to give me a little prop I'm gonna put a level on top there and then I'm gonna plumb two holes here and dig that and that's pretty much it I'm gonna pour cement tomorrow There's, the rain is gonna come so not gonna be here too long good morning I have to actually walk in maybe a quarter mile with two 15 foot long pieces of purlin. You can see it goes with there. My grinder, my tape. Yep, all the way back there. I don't know if you can see it. But finally arrived at the house under some stress. Ready to tr ready to drop this thing down, but got to keep going. My transport can't come in here. So, whew, what a relief it is. <laughs> 